Good morning, Purple Phonics Group. How are you today? Have you had a good weekend? Are you all refreshed and ready for the new week? Hopefully you are. Okay, so on the screen to start today, we have a recap of all the sounds we've been looking at in the last few weeks. So we're just going to have a look at them and see how many you can remember. So I'm going to move my cursor to the first sound. Here he is. What sound is that one? Can you say that one out loud for me, please? It's the v sound, isn't it? V. How about this one? It's one of our digraph sounds, isn't it? Two letters together and they make the ch, ch, ch sound. Okay, how about this one? It's another of our single sounds and it's the y, 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 isn't it? How about this one here? Digraph, try that one. That one is ng, ng. How about this one here? Another single sound for you. I'm sure you know this one. It's the wa, 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 isn't it? Okay, let's move down to this one now. What's this sound? It's a j, 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 isn't it? How about this one here, another digraph? This is the first digraph that we looked at. What's this one? Shh. Okay, and this one? What's this digraph sound? This sounds a little bit trickier to make, isn't it? It's How about this one? We don't see this one a lot, do we? It's not in lots of words. This one is qua, 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 qua. Remember that this letter U has to be with the Q at all times. That Q can never be used on its own. It must have the U with it as well. How about this one here? I love the sound that this one makes. It's the K isn't it? And finally, how about this one down here? Zzz, our buzzy little bee. Zzz. How did you do with that? How many did you remember? <clears throat> well done if you remembered them all. Well done if you remembered most of them. If you didn't remember them, don't worry, but rewind me, play them again, and listen to the sound and say it so that you can try and get that into your memory for tomorrow. Okay, let's move on and see what we're doing today. So today's sound is going to be, oh, another digraph, two letters together. So the A and the R, when they go together, make the R sound. Can you say that for me? R, R. So it makes the R sound. Imagine you're at the dentist or the doctor's and you have to say ah for the doctor so he can check that you're feeling well and that your throat's okay. Okay, let's have a look at how we write that sound. So we know we have to write two individual letters. We have to write our A and we have to write our R, don't we? And put them together to make the ah sound. So let's switch my pen on. We're going to have fun here. You know we always have fun when I switch my pen on. So here we go. Both letters are sitting on the line and they're both short letters, aren't they? So we'll start on the line and see how well this pen does today for me. So we curl up. So it's a curly cut shape that turns in to an A. Ah. So that's your A. And then our R goes up, straight back down, up and over. So there's our R. So our A and our R make the R sound. Okay, let's take a look at today's words then, shall we? So today, they're all real words because we have our tick on the top of the screen. So we've got our four words with their sound buttons underneath. Have a go, pause me while you're trying, sound them out, blend them together, say the word. Come back to me when you're ready. Okay, are we ready? Let's have a look at what we've got today then. So we've got two single sounds and our digraph sound of today. So we've got k, 
Ard. Card. 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 Did you hear that one? Let's try the next one. So again, two single sounds and a digraph. So we've got p art, p art. Say it faster. P art, part. Oh, we've got two digraph sounds here. So did you remember the second digraph sound? We've got arch, arch, arch. Hmm, that was easy to hear, wasn't it? How about this one? So this is the trickiest one because we've got two digraphs and a single sound. Are you ready? So we go sh ark, sh ark, sh ark, sh ark, sh ark. Now, did you notice the K that's at the end of shark? It's that kicking K, isn't it? And that's because remember we said that very rarely do we see curly K at the end of a word. It tends to be kicking K at the end of a word. Okay, so we're going to move on now and we're going to have a look at the words that are hidden that I'd like you to try and write today. So are you ready for the first one? Have you got your pen and paper ready? You know the routine by now. Pause me, come back to me when you're ready with the word. So the first word is hard. Hard, have a go at that one. Okay, let's take a look. So hard, so we've got Hard, hard, hard. Okay, the second one is mark. Mark, have a go at that one. Right, let's see what we've got. So we've got mark, mark, mark. And hopefully you put the right k at the end because we just spoke about it up here, didn't we? So if you were listening, you would have definitely got the right k at the end of that word. Okay, the next one is chart, chart. Try that one. Right, let's have a look and see what we can do. So we've got, ooh, two digraph sounds here. So we've got ch, art, chart. And the last word today is sharp, sharp. Try that one. Okay, let's take a look. So how did you do? We've got sharp, sharp, sharp. So if you got those right, you are really doing well with your sounds. Congratulations. If you didn't, which sounds did you miss? What didn't you hear? Which letters did you not hear when you sounded that word out? Remember, to sound out, we need to go really slowly, almost as if we're pulling a bow and arrow. So I've got my arrow, I load my bow in, and I say my word really slowly so I can hear every sound. So I'll do one of the words on here today. I will go, and I let my sound go. So I let my arrow go at the end with a loud sound for my end sound. So slowly pull that bow back before you release the arrow and say the word really slowly if you're missing some of those sounds. Okay, so today we have a drawing challenge again. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So it's asking us to draw a picture, but you know by now I'm not going to read this out to you. So it's written in red and it's underlined. What does that say? When you've read that, could you draw me a picture that goes with the description? I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day.